Good morning. It is day seven from Quantum of the Seas. I set my alarm for 7.30 today. And I forgot about the time change. So it's really 8.30. Total fail. I actually wanted a breakfast wrap from uh, Cafe 270, so um, rather than go down through the promenade to cut through, I figured I'd come up to the pool deck to walk through, check out the weather and stuff. Um, I'm outside now by the pool and uh, in t-shirt and shorts. It actually feels pretty good. Not too cold, a little bit of a slight breeze, but they said it's supposed to be like 71, 72 today, so it should be pretty nice. We do not dock in Victoria, Canada until 5 p.m. And then the uh, ship leaves at 10 p.m., like we mentioned last night. And then we're back in Seattle tomorrow morning, so. Uh, kind of feels like a sea day. Gonna take advantage, spend some time at the pool, go in the hot tub, have some fun. This space is so nice. It's like an extension of the promenade. Um, but so nice. Gotta grab myself a caramel macchiato while I'm here. I'm so tired. Alright, I grabbed a croissant, egg and cheese, and bacon. Uh, bacon, egg and cheese, and English muffin. And then like a breakfast beef burrito. I got my caramel macchiato. What I actually wanted, they didn't have. And uh, I'm hoping she likes one of the three. And then I'll eat whatever she doesn't eat. Um, but what an amazing view. I love this room so much. This space is incredible. It was popping last night. All right. Kids had some Fruit Loops in the room. Actually had her breakfast wraps. Now we're at the Cplex and they're ready for some laser tag. Round three. Are we all doing it this time? Yes. Where are we gonna put your stuff? Oh, I didn't think about that. Uh, let's try to do it all together. All right, we just finished laser tag. I was on the losing team. I did not score the most points. Nolan's strategy is to literally run behind Camden the whole time and just shoot him in the back while he's trying to escape. I'm um, dripping in sweat, but I actually want to say uh, Starbucks. I know exactly where I'm going. I'm going to get you Starbucks inside the Windjammer. Ashley asked for some Starbucks, so gonna go grab her some uh, some coffee. All right, we grabbed Ashley her uh, caramel macchiato. Uh, Cam grabbed a quick snack. FaceTiming his baby brother. And the kids are going to the kids club. Uh, it's 10.40, so they'll have about an hour and 20 minutes uh, to spend there before uh, the 12 o'clock checkout time. The kids are back at the kids club. And I'm uh, gonna go back to the room. Ashley's gonna pack up some more while I do some more editing. Uh, but I really do wanna go to the pool. I'm a little hot. I'm still sweaty from laser tag. And the weather actually isn't too bad outside. All right, we are done packing as best as we can do. And uh, grab my towels. Kids are out of the kids club. Now we're at the Nobody, indoor pool. Nobody, I want to hit the back. Uh, Ash is gonna lay and chill in these uh, clamshell beds while I hit up the hot tub. All right, old, uh, Camden and I are uh, at the indoor pool. We're gonna go for a swim, hit up the hot tub, do all the fun things. What's one thing you're looking forward to the most today? I don't know what we're doing today. Well, what do you want to do today? It's the last full day on the ship, so whatever you want. I fly. Can't do that. Pick something else. Yeah. Alright, we'll figure it out. Right, 
the day wouldn't be complete without a stop in the hot tub. Morning, noon, and night, I can spend all day and all night in here. I absolutely love it. So, I'm gonna spend some time with Cam and uh, have some fun. All right, time to go to the hot tub outside. It's a little brisk, but that is the best feeling being in a nice warm hot tub when you're. Uh, when it's kind of cold out. But. Kim, you ready? He's ready. He's always ready. Actually, people swimming in the pool. Some people sitting outside. It's about 65 right now, so not too bad. Feels nice, huh? It's still kind of foggy and hazy out, but it's actually not too bad outside. Back in the indoor hot tub, our favorite. And then instantly bumped into his friends from the kids club and ditched dad. Nolan is hanging out with friends on the ship. I have no idea where he is. He's having fun. Yep. So just uh, me, myself and I, while Ashley uh, takes a nap in her clam shell bed. Chris and Marco in the hot tub. Say hi guys. Hi. You guys having fun? Yeah. You guys like the hot tub? Yeah. What's been your uh, favorite thing to do in the cruise so far? Um, the flow rider. Flow rider. Flow rider? Yeah, yeah for great. sure. Nice. But also I fly. I fly. I fly was really cool. We did it three times. Oh wow. Yeah. Did you do a backflip? No, I can't do that. They, they don't allow that. They don't? No, I've not, done not it for like adults. five times. You have? Oh yeah. man, they wouldn't let me do it. All right, guys, we'll see you around, okay? Okay. All right, I am gonna pop into the Solarium Bistro to grab a quick plate. I am really not too hungry, but I know I need to eat. Kids are all hanging out with their friends. Ashley already ate. And, uh, yeah. Let's see what we have. All right, we got Jack and Rice. How are you? Good, how are you? How is it cold? How are we doing? Good, nice to see you. Uh, say hi in the camera. Being still, mashed potatoes. Say hi, Indonesian language. Hello, hello. Namaste. Hello. 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 And then a uh, bread, salad, and dessert station. Let's come over here to the dessert station because Ashley was mowing down before. Pistachio pancake, pineapple upside down cake. I think Camden had a reaction to that on the first day. Uh, broke out with a couple of hives by his belly button. Uh, I'm not sure. Coconut layer. The thing is too is this right here like you go pistachio and then you grab that look at this has pistachio on there so cross-contamination is very easy uh, peach tart praline cream puffs it says contains nuts which is good and a peach tart can love that and same thing over here so let's go make a plate I'm hungry all right we got some uh, I got the rice with the beef stew gravy, the no beef stew, uh, home fries, bread and butter, salami, pasta bake, and then the uh, pork schnitzel, which looked good. So, gonna eat it with Ashley because she misses me so much. She just can't even stand the sight and idea of not being around me. Boy, Ashley is just sitting here missing me so much. She was like, please don't eat by yourself. Come back here and spend time with me. Poor thing, I have to run back over here to spend time with her. All right, came up to the top deck to get a good view of Canada, and uh, it looks beautiful. The weather is gorgeous. I mean, obviously, you're sailing, so you got a little bit of a breeze, but um, thermostat inside says it's 70 degrees out right now. It is 
beautiful. People are inside, people are outside. People are in long sleeves and pants. People are in shorts and a t-shirt. I am still in a bathing suit. This is just, couldn't ask for better weather. All right, we're back on the other side of the ship. Let's see if we can find Camden. see him. Alright, we're on the other side of the ship now. We got land on both sides. I'm assuming that's Canada too. Um, I think there'll be some action in the back of the ship with the uh, flow rider and stuff in the pool and everything. Star Bar is bumping. It is busy. It's always busy. Yeah. All right, Cam is hanging out with his friend Gabe. Gabe, say hi. You having fun? Cam, you having fun? Nice. Beautiful day, huh? Yeah. All right. Have fun, guys. Guys, I want to get this on camera. I am having a soft serve ice cream. I have not had a soft serve ice cream cone on a cruise ship in probably two years at least. Never get them. Uh, no idea why, but I figured I'd get one now. Hi, Camden. Hi. You having fun? Hi. Nice, awesome. All right, these are the heroes of the week that hooked us up with our auxiliary cord for our uh, our uh, microphone. Darren and Shannon, thank you guys so much for hooking us up. Really appreciate it. You guys having a good trip? We're having a great trip. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, we've bumped into them 30 plus times. They're a great couple, and uh, we've had a lot of fun with them. So we really appreciate you guys. All right, we are just pulling up to Victoria, Canada. Um, excited to uh, explore this little port and see what's going on, see what we can find, and uh, see what kind of fun we can have. All right, dinner tonight calls for Sorrento's Pizza, and this bar, the schooner bar, is absolutely packed. Holy smoke! All right, little casualty. Had someone walk into me as I was holding my drink. He was a child, so I totally get it. it happens. But let's head on down for some pizza. Nolan, you excited for pizza? Nolan made a special rare appearance. He's been hanging out with his friends for about four or five hours. Have no idea where he went, no idea what he did. But he's a preteen, so I get it. It's totally understandable. Let's get some pizza. These guys churn and burn pizzas like I've never seen before. <laughs> All right, we are in beautiful Victoria, Canada. Port doesn't have much to offer, but we are excited to get out there and explore. All right, we got some pizza for the boys. And uh, this is our dinner for the night. Hi. Hi, baby. Guys, when we came, we almost booked this room. This is a balcony room. And then this is an interior cabin. And then this door closes off from the rest of the hallway. And then this is like your own little suite. So the kids have an interior room and then you have a balcony room. This door is open because clearly these two people don't know each other. Fantastic setup. Yeah, I setup. think that's a great little 
option if Pro tip. a suite is like out of your budget. Yeah. Definitely cheaper than getting two balconies. For sure. All right, we're waiting for the elevator yeah. and I just want to see wh actually right what you're there. wearing right now. There's two on them. What do you got going on? I got some jeans. Where are the jeans from? Yeah, but did you see the Lauren Conrad? Okay. I had to think about it. A little LC action. What about your shirt? You got a little pink and white nautical action. It's from TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, okay. Purse is still the same purse you've been rocking with all week. Mm -hmm. And then your sneakers, shoes? They're Roxy. Roxy? Mm -hmm. Okay. How do they feel? They're a little small. A little small? Yeah, I've got them. Like Do you think you order them true to size or were they like half a size too tight? I think we can fit. Oh no. Oh. Okay. You guys are not fast enough. Okay, back to the room for my license. This is another country, so we do need another form of ID to get off. All right, we've made it to Canada. Beautiful old Canada. No one asked to. Uh, Take a picture for his old hockey coach, Coach Chad. Wants to let him know he came to his country. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it to Canada. Let's go. Are you kidding? All right, we are headed in. I don't even know what this is about. Everyone must declare all weapons, including firearms, to Canada Customs. Do we have a form we were supposed to bring with us? No. No? Okay. Oh. All right, buses are $15 a person round trip, and cabs are $15 for four people uh, one way. So 15 times two is 30, and then um, the other way is 45 on the bus, and the line for the bus is seven times as long. So gonna take the taxi all right guys we just made it down to victoria downtown victoria um looks like there's so much to do so much to see so much to shop ash is going to be a while we are oh, super cute. excited to uh check it out we got some horse and carriage pictures over here we got some other pictures setups over there my boy is over here eating what's up buddy Tally ho. All right, let's go exploring. Ew, gross. I'm pretty sure that is the parliament there. Leave him alone. He didn't do anything And we got to the you. Um, Royal Museum of British Columbia there. We got the pier over here with tons of boats. And the Empress Hotel over here. Uh, gonna walk a little further to do some shopping, see what we can find. These mega yachts look incredible. What a port this is. Look at these boats. Ah, oh, look at that catamaran. I already lost her. I don't think she went that way. I think she went this way. Let's see if we can find her. No. I like this for you. Yeah. Anything for my Pakistan? I like this for Nolan. Oh, wow, that's cute. Cam. I like that. Do you want to try it on, guys? All right, there is a ton of selections and variety over here. Victoria, British Columbia is coming in hot. This is Vancouver Island. Tons of uh, less than five bucks, shirts and sweatshirts to choose from. Obviously, your Canada apparel, too. This is cool. Then you can have it. Damn it. All right, Ashley has done her damage. We have a whole bag full of goodies, and uh, we are on to the next store. 
That was a nice little gift shop, actually. I thought that it was, was really, really cute. I like lots gift shops. of selections. I wish Alaska and, had things like that. Yeah, it was it was cool. Yeah. All right, kids are thirsty, so we're popping up Victoria's ice cream shop. You can only imagine the kind of drinks they're gonna pick up while they're in here. Maple ice wine cream cookies. Those sound delicious. Maple syrup, forty-one dollars for a big jug. You know, you like ginger ale? Cool. You do? Are you sure you're gonna drink Ooh, that? Look at that ice cream. Like I'll that. loop around to that in a that second. But sprite. crab and you like pollock it? pate. Okay, as long as you like it. Watch him do it. Lobster, lobster and pollock. That sounds great. It's, I mean, I like it. It's not my first choice, that, though. Slice of bread right about now. Don't. We got candy over like here. It. Candy I've never heard of. Any Canadians? You ever heard of Macintosh? Wow, look at these flavors. These look good. Wow. Incredible. That looks delicious. You got the Canada one. One that just says Canada. I would have gotten one that said Victoria, but it is what it is. What can? It's a nice hat. It really used to be like an old bar. I mean, an old bank. This is gorgeous. We don't have internet. Tons of varieties of beer, too. All right, here down by the water is the visitor center where you can actually book some excursions while you're here. Camden does need to use the bathroom, so I'm gonna go ahead and run them downstairs. I love this shot right here. All right, we're gonna go see how much these water taxi tours are of the harbor. Keep seeing them come in and out, so I'm just gonna go check out the price. All right, it is fifteen dollars per adult. And seven dollars per child. Okay. So that'd be a roughly forty-five dollars, forty-four dollars, as opposed to the fifteen dollars that we've used to uh, take the taxi back to the ship. I think we're just gonna walk it and take in the views. This is such a beautiful little port. All these yachts and boats and super yachts and catamarans. Beautiful. I feel like I'm looking all um, across the lake and looking at the Riviera not, Resort at Disney. Um, Actually, doesn't Hawaii, this look like Disney? Um, the Riviera? Like, looking at Caribbean Beach? Yeah. Looking at Riviera. Guys, right, so this downtown area is just Stop. bumping. The energy here is electric. Asha, what do you think of the uh, cruise port? I really like this place. I wish we had a full day here. I feel like we've been kind of gypped. We're just here from like five to nine. And by the time it, everyone got off the ship and by the time we got a taxi, it was like a little after six. Um, so I feel like we're not able to really like do anything, but it's 
such an awesome spot. Like if we lived on the West Coast, I could totally see coming here. It's kind of like a Newport. Um, I'd love to come here like for a weekend. Yeah, for sure. It's really nice. Tons of hotels too. All right, we made it back to the Quantum. They do have a little tiny gift shop over here. Here we go. By the ship. Oh, and cool. Ashley is just dying to go inside. Yeah, I'm going to go in. I think that walk was pretty easy. How long do you think it took them? Maybe 25 minutes. No, oh. it was 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes, minutes at the most with two slow kids who climb walls and, and pick up go down every and... path there is. Yeah. yeah. Got some really nice stuff in here. Tons of Christmas ornaments and coffee mugs and shot glasses and food and knickknacks and t-shirts. Hello. Thank you. Wow. This is cool. Yes. Did you see him in there? Mm -hmm. oh, really? So when I went on stage, you laughed. Oh, you went on the stage? And what did you say? No, I didn't. I didn't talk to him. I didn't really get to talk to him on the stage. You were doing what? So I got a little busy in here. The game show? Oh, yeah. no wonder. A bus just got here. All right, Canada. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. I'd like to come back. I'd love to come back for more than four hours. Yeah. This is nice. This is a nice little port anyway. They were all nice ports, really, if you think about it. What a great ship. I've loved sailing on her. I would absolutely sail on her again or any of the other ships in the Quantum class. What? Um, it's like all different colors. All right, we are back on the ship. The kids could not run to the kids club fast enough. Right, Ashley? We're at Solarium Bistro. Hello, sir. We don't. We don't have reservations, no. Is it yeah, strict in Canada? So Ashley was not feeling the uh, menu there at Solarium. And uh, we just found out a fun fact. In Canada, you can only have one bar open on per deck. Per deck. So Solarium is closed. Indoor pool is closed. Uh, next up, North Star Bar. And I think for the first time in my life, I am eating in the Windjammer for dinner. I don't think I've ever done this before. Looks like a lot of leftovers. He said it was Mexican. Oh, this must be like the taco bar over here. Oh, today they decide to put up some rails? Yeah, this must be the taco station. What's up, guys? How's it going? Everything's going good. Up. Where are you guys from? We're from the Virgin Islands. Virgin Islands? What's your names? Big, nice. Big wheel. Oh, big wheel. Okay, all right. That's what I'm talking we about. Keep rolling. Keep rolling, all right. Where are you from, buddy? We're from Boston. Boston, Massachusetts? Boston, Massachusetts, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have a good trip? trip was awesome. Yeah, we had a great trip. Bye. <laughs> I can't believe our trip is like over. In the beginning, it seemed like seven days was so long, and and now I'm like, where did it go? It just flew by. I feel like we had so much fun, and every day we had did something like incredible that we've never done before. Just talking about when we can come back and who we want to bring back with us. But we decided that we will come back once we have saved enough money to do all of the really cool excursions. 
and once Paxton is old enough to do all of the really cool excursions. If you want to come back with us, comment below and let us know that you want to come. Yeah. You don't want to be left out in the dust. Um, so we will definitely be back Alaska. Um, we want to come back as a family of five. We want Paxton to be a little bit older. And we really want to do all of the super cool stuff next time that um, we missed out on this trip. Now that we're like a little bit better prepared and have more of an idea of what to expect because we went into this trip kind of blind. We booked it, not last minute, but kind of last minute for an Alaskan cruise. Um, I would say if you're gonna plan Alaska, you need to give yourself like a good year of planning. Um, it's definitely not a trip that you can book at the last minute. By the time we booked, all the of the towels. cool excursions were gone pretty much. Um, or if they were still available, they didn't have enough space for four people. So they'd have like two left or three left or one left. Um, that was another reason why we didn't have too many excursions because when we booked, a lot of the excursions were already booked up. So if you are planning Alaska, like now is the time to start planning for 2024 and 2025 should be released within the next I'd say 60 to 90 days. Um, so if you are a planner and you want a little bit more time to budget interest-free, just place, place your deposit with Royal or Disney. Um, definitely put your deposit down and then just start paying towards your trip slowly. That's the way to do it because Alaska is pricey. And in most occasions, the excursions can actually add up to be more than what you pay for the cruise itself so we warned you i wish somebody warned us going into it um but yeah ashley we're bundled up by the uh, north star bar ashley's taking in the views she doesn't want the night to end it's not even cold but these towels are warm <laughs> yeah it really isn't cold i mean again i am in my bathing suit flip-flops t-shirt and uh, we have Seattle we have Washington State over there and then we have Canada over there um, pools are closed and uh, we're hanging out at the North Star bar and uh, listening to music it's nice relaxing <laughs> Love the North Star Bar at night. I don't think it gets any better than this. I don't want to go home. All right, we are all packed up. Little suitcases are in the hallway. We have one more suitcase in our room that we're going to put out toiletries and. Uh, small uh, clothes that we're wearing tonight in but we are leaving Victoria now uh, off there in the distance what a nice little port I am so I really liked impressed. it a lot more than I thought I was going to I was kind of annoyed with it to be honest when we got off the ship yeah it was just like Royal Caribbean set us up for failure because we didn't get here till five we can get on a, in a taxi <laughs> till or a bus six. till six and that gave us three hours. All Had we been here nine. at nine, I think I would have. Oh, yeah, I would have done that. Done like a whale watch tour. That water like, taxi. The water taxi. So cute. Um, I enjoyed like the extra time at the pool and hot tub today, but like I this was really such a beautiful city. Be like, there. could you have hooked me up with a couple more hours here? I know. It, it, this, the walls surrounding this harbor remind me of like Free Willy. Yeah. It's like those huge kind of dikes that just surround the city. Um, and then I know that they have like the orcas here. So I and feel like. And then you said like Twilight wasn't right filmed, across like, the bay. Too far away from yeah. here, right? Like. Yeah. So I don't know. I, this just reminds me of Free Willy and. This is a cool port, and I wish we had more time. Yeah, for sure. Um, jealous 
of the people doing back-to-backs on this cruise. For sure. You could do the same itinerary in two consecutive weeks and so have a whole... you could do it four weeks in a row and have a different experience, experience every yeah. time. I wish I had done a whale-watching tour. I wish I had gone dock kayaking sledding. to the glacier. I wish I had done dock sledding. I wish I did that private glacier tour, the one that, like, comes up to the ship. Yeah. And takes you Picks to the you glacier. Up. Yeah, for sure. Um, Our friends did that one. I wish I had gone ziplining. Ziplining would have been fun. Like, there were just, there's so <coughs> many awesome excursions. You could do this trip ten times and have a different experience. I would love to do that Zodiac boat that's, like, kind of like a raft. Yeah. That looked amazing. Yep. Um, there's yeah. just, like, so many awesome excursions, like, doing this trip one time like paul said he was just happy <coughs> enough to be in alaska and see the scenery and and experience what we got to experience but definitely have to come back at some point and if you really if, if i'm being really honest with you if you want to come and do alaska excluding the cruise itself you need to budget at least five thousand five thousand dollars just excursions Just alone. in excursions to really experience everything. Our friend Erin said it best. She cruised Alaska last week. And she said, you don't just go to Alaska. You experience Alaska. It's so true. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I can't wait to go back. I, I would love to come back um, next summer. I don't think it's possible. I would love to come back when Paxson is actually old enough to use the pools. Yeah. So I think 2025 is the realistic timeline of actually when we can come back. Because 2025, he'll be like I think, three? I think probably like 2026, 2027. Yeah, but, but I, I, and 2025 I know, at the earliest. Uh, yeah, but 2024... As much as I would love to do it, I just don't think it's possible just because... Just with everything we already have planned yeah. thus far for 2024, it just it won't work out. But um, I, like, I know a lot of people are the same. They're like, I thought Alaska for me was going to be a once-in-a-lifetime thing and I was going to be one and done and... I think we'll probably be back. We're still, like, young enough and... We met so many families that came here on, like, significant family trips or, like, celebrations or even, like, sad, sadder stories that, like, this is, like, their last trip with a loved one, so. Yeah. Yeah, we met one of Camden's friends who said that this was a uh, last trip with a, a loved one who's not doing too well. He was so sweet. He was like, my grandma's dying. And we just wanted to have, like, one more, like, really special time with her. And yeah, it really makes you think, you know. And it makes us think about our own parents, you know. Like, how much time do we have with our own parents? And, like, you know, we're so grateful to have the time that we have. But but also, like, you don't want to do a trip like this when someone's, like, declining and, like, has to be yeah, in they, a scooter they, or a wheelchair. Oh, my gosh. Like, there was just so much hiking and walking and through the woods. Like, how would you have driven a scooter? But there were tons of people here in scooters and wheelchairs and, like, still experience. But totally. Experience it was. Alaska. It was, uh, I, I need to come back. I know you feel the same way. I know the kids would love to come back. We were talking about it before off camera. I've never been on a cruise where the boys have made so, so many, many friends. friends. Yeah, I feel like they're in elementary school. I don't think I've ever dropped them off at the kids club and had, at minimum, every single time, morning, noon, night session, there was never less than 10 to 12 children And in the they club. knew half the kids in there. And they knew, yeah. It was the same group. The same kids kept asking their parents yeah. to come back into the kids' club. And then they would hang out outside of the kids' club yeah, and find we each were, other in the pool and the hot tub. Yeah, and like while Cam was hanging out with... We went on excursion with, with one of Nolan's friends. So, like, that was a cool experience yeah, for him to have a friend. Stuff. Um, but, yeah, it... Just, I'm so happy for them because yeah. they're both really outgoing. They make friends everywhere they go. Um, but I also feel like that's such an important part of traveling. Yeah. 
making friends. Making friends, like, from all over the world. All over the country, too, you know? Yeah. It's like, these kids, like, you see these teenagers, like, hanging out in groups of, like, 6, 8, 12. And, like, that's going to be our kids in a couple of years, you know? It's, that was me. Like, yeah. I would cruise all the time with my family, with my cousins, and we would meet so many friends. And some of them I am still even friends with on Facebook, and I met them when I was in, like, 8th grade. So. Okay. <laughs> we don't need to talk about them. I'm but sure yeah. they're mostly boys. <laughs> Awkward. Awkward. All right. <laughs> On that note. Let's go for a walk. Guys, if this isn't the saddest thing you've ever seen, I, I don't know what it is. This is just, ugh, so depressing. The hallway is just filled with suitcases. This little corner over here always reminds me of uh, Disney Cruise uh, ships with like the little door over here. Disney oh, Cruise. I'm saying again. Speaking of Disney Cruise. Guys, this isn't a goodbye. This is a see you real soon, okay? No, he got projected. <laughs> <laughs> All I right, we got know. some ducks. Look at these. These got hats and Someone everything. Them a hat. These are actually from two different families. But no yeah. kidding. They're pretty it's similar. Cool. That's awesome. What are your names, guys? I'm Rice. I'm Patrice. Where are you guys from? I'm from Southern California. Nice. I'm from Texas. Cool. Did you have a good trip? Yeah, this was like fun. my first cruise, so it was like super fun. Oh, oh that's nice. awesome. What a good trip. You just turned 18 on this cruise. Oh, congratulations. Happy I just birthday. turned 40 on this cruise. Nice. <laughs> well, we've gone full circle. Did you go in the casino? <laughs> I mean, I can walk through, but I can't play here. Yeah. Oh, you can't play here? Yeah, nice. For breakfast tomorrow. Oh, guys, 270 is closed. What is happening? It's so Look lame. At this. I just wanted to come and enjoy. I just wanted to sit in my favorite this. spot. I think this room is my favorite room. I think it's mine, We did too. not spend enough time in here, as much time as we did spend. I we did. came here every day. We came here every, every single day night. Every day we came here. Wasn't enough. Beautiful. Came here to the shop to get some last minute souvenirs and they are closed. Boo! Bah, bah, bah. Epic fail. I'm still mad about my ship and not getting a replica. They're really just like shutting everything down on us, kicking us out. I'm trying to think, I don't even have anyone booked on the Quantum that no. could like look for it for you. Yeah. Guys, the energy tonight is not electric. It is very it sad. It's like a dwindling fire. Very depressing. And I am not happy about they it. They don't even have like music anywhere. I know. No live music. No shops All the open. shops are closed. Well, it is like 10.30 in the defense. I know, but like give people a last chance to buy things. I know. Yeah, it stinks. All right, we got a uh, comedian here playing tonight. Just checking. Men and women have a whole different view of that place. We get in there, we don't, we, I live in Vegas half the year. We don't gamble, we're there the first night. We're small gamblers, you know, nickel, dime, quarter, whatever. And we're in there five minutes through this blood curling screen. Ah! Ah! I'm a winner! I won! You won? Yes! How much? Three dollars! Ah! <laughs> Thanks for watching and safe travels!